Hey everybody, welcome back to the 80 Slashers YouTube channel. In this video, I thought I would do something uh, a little different uh, this time around. So, um, what I want to do is I kind of want to talk about um, some other types of films besides 80 Slashers, um, but in the same way, still kind of... Um, keeping within the realm of 80 slashers, if that makes any sense. So what I want to do is I want to start um, taking a look at films, 80 slashers in particular, that um, if you like this particular film, um, I want to recommend another film that's not necessarily an 80 slasher, but in some ways is related um, to uh, that particular film, whether it's, you know, similar settings, certain vibe, whatever it is, um, kind of a, if you like this, you might like this kind of a recommendation series, you know? Um, a lot of people have always asked me to talk about um, films outside of 80 slashers. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go... I don't want to go completely out of this realm, just because, you know, I just kind of like to... That's what the name of the channel is, you know? But um, it is fun to talk about some other films every once in a while. Um, and I, I have sprinkled them in occasionally in, like, rankings or whatnot. But um, I thought this is a good way to kind of branch out a little bit. And, um, you know, every once in a while I'll make one of these videos. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so as you can see, um, what I have here is The Fun House. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this film, and, you know, if there's people who enjoy this film, and uh, I have a recommendation for you. So this, of course, is, as you can see, from the director who brought you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a 80 slasher from uh, Toby Hooper. Uh, this is a, um, this is from 1981, of course. This is a film that I like. I don't love this film. Um, it's a good film. It's just, it's within the 80s slashers genre. I feel like it's a little bit of an outcast. Uh, it doesn't completely fit within, you know, the, the formulaic, um, you know, boundaries that, that, that I like these movies to fall in. Um, but it, it's pretty close. Um, but it, it definitely feels like a Toby, Toby Hugh Hooper film because it's, um, it, it kind of is reminiscent of, uh, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, the, if, 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 if you haven't seen this film, basically what this is about, there's, there's a group of friends. They're like, I don't know if they're high school students. They, I feel like they're a little older. I can't remember, but I feel like they might be like college students. And yeah, they're going to a, a fair, a carnival, an exhibition, what it, you know, whatever you want to call it. They're going out to have a good time. But there, there's, I think there's like um, a group of six, I believe. I think there's like three guys, three girls. And yeah, they, they go to the fair. And working at the fair is like the Kearney folk, of course. And there's like a family. Um, yeah, it doesn't show it on here. Um, if, you see, if you're used to like the alternate cover work here, there's a... Uh, this is what the alternate cover work here. But yeah, this guy's kind of like the ringleader, the, the Kearney folk. He's like kind of like he's talking on the microphone and all that stuff. And um, yeah, he works there. And he has like a, a family, like a son, who is kind of in the shadows of the fair. And in the past, he has like a backstory of... Um, he's done some questionable things with ladies whenever he's, because he's kind of deformed, he's kind of like an oddball. Like I said, it's kind of similar to the Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And whenever they feed him women to, you know, whatever he wants to do with the women, sometimes things go bad. So there's like a history there, so it's kind of like this weird, twisted family that just happens to be at this traveling exhibition, carnival, whatever you want to call it. Of course, the friends go there, and they're having a good time, um, enjoying the scenery, and, you know, they kind of witness some of these things. So then it's kind of a game of survival. The This crazy family is kind of hunting them down, all in the, the fun house, the carnival. And, you know, it turns into like an 80s slasher. They get picked off one by one. There's some, there's some fun kills. There's some good nudity. There's a fantastic setting. And the setting is obviously the... The main attraction in this film, but um, yeah, it's like I said, it's a film I like. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this. If you can tell me trying to describe it, it's um, it's it's a little. It's been a while since I've seen this. Probably I don't know four or five years at least, um, if not longer. So I, I do need to revisit it. Um, but yeah, it, it's one that like I said, it's just it kind of falls a little bit outside the parameters of what I I like in these films. But the setting is just unbelievable. Seeing an eighties carnival. At night, with the, all the lights and the rides and like the the games and the the, the 
cotton candy, all that stuff. It's just, it's, it's, it's just such a good experience watching this film. It's fantastic. Um, so that's what this is. So if you're familiar with this film, um, I'm going to recommend one here in a minute. Um, if you have never seen this film, then I recommend this. But just, just for, like I said, for the, the setting alone, there is some fun kills. This Everything works. There's nothing wrong with this film. Like I said, for me, it's just when we're talking about 80s slashers, it falls just a little outside the parameters of what I typically want. But, um, you know, that's not what this film is. This is a Toby Hooper film, and it, it is what it is, and it, it is good. So, all right. So, if you like this film, I'm going to recommend a newer film, and it's going to be completely obvious why. Um, and that film is Hellfest. So right off the bat, you can see uh, <laughs> you can see exactly why I'm recommending this. This is a newer slasher film. Um, this what what years? I should have looked this up. What years? This is um, 2000 and boy, I should have looked this up. 18, 2018. And yeah, this is like your run of the mill newer slasher film that just happens to take place at a carnival an exhibition a fair um the the plots are similar in some ways you have a group of friends and again i believe they're um like university aged friends and they're going out for um the local carnival and i think there's like a special night i think it's called hellfest like there there's a like one one night at the carnival and it's, um, yeah, it's called Hellfest. They're going out. There's a, a bunch of them, and they're going to have a fun time. And um, there's a killer on the loose in the carnival. One of them, the main kind of star kind of sees, witnesses the killer committing a crime. And the killer witnesses her witnessing him. And then, you know, the rest of the movie, they're being chased by this, this crazy killer. And, um, you know, it's a lot of the people have similar costumes, similar masks, so you never know which one is the killer, and they're going in all the rides, and you can see on the back, like, the colors, there's so many different, um, scenes, like, inside, like, 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 funhouse type of settings, you know, like, in these, uh, rides and whatnot, and there's, like, you know, like, blue, purple, um, red, yellow, all these lights, it looks really cool, good use of, like, the cinematography, um, some of the kills are really fun, you know, it's not the same, type of kills, you know, this is mostly practical effects, there's, you know, there's, I, I don't know if there's practical effects, but there's definitely some CGI, all these films have CGI nowadays, there may be some practical effects, but I remember, I really like the kills, they're, they're fun, they're, they're pretty violent, um, yeah, this, this was fun, I, um, I liked Hellfest quite a bit, again, it's your modern, glossy type of horror that, that we get nowadays, you know, it's not, um, it doesn't have that, um, that's why I like these films. There's something about these older films. It's it's more gonzo type of filmmaking. You know, it's, it's like like a film crew. They get together and they just they they make a film together. They they stay you know however long it takes to make a week, two weeks to make a film. They're all a little family, and they do their magic and they release this film. That's just great. Now these are like you know big studio productions and you know it, it's. It's apples and oranges, really, in filmmaking style. But there's enough similarities between these two. So if if, if you're a fan of Funhouse, um, primarily for you know the carnival setting, and you've never seen this, um, definitely check it out. It's it, it's a it's a fun one. I, I I really did enjoy it. Again, just because of the setting, just regardless of anything else, it, it just makes the film. It, it it's a fun experience. It's really bright. There's lots of lights. There's lots of fun locations within the carnival where the killer is tracking and, and there's some really cool um like highlight kills just the way it's filmed and like the lighting and the angles it, it's it does a really good job um there's some funny characters in this um you know it kind of has nowadays you always have to have those obnoxious there's always like one of the one of the characters is obnoxious and just kind of rude and you, you kind of root for them to get killed and, and you, you, you the payoff is in this one for sure with that but um, that's one of the things I don't like about these. It's, the characters are like, there's always a couple I just I just despise these young. Maybe I'm just I'm I'm an old man now. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> these newer young kids in these movies kind of really bug me. Um, they they seemed more healthy and normal in you know back in the eighties. But maybe again maybe that's just a generational thing with me. But um, regardless of that, this is fun. The killer's fun. Um, you know some pretty gruesome kills. 
Uh, I don't think there's any nudity in this. It's pretty watered down with that. Um, but it is rated R. Um, there could be nudity. I don't... I, again, I, I probably watched it in 2018. Um, so it's been about four years since I've actually watched this film. But, um, you know, obviously the similarities are, are pretty obvious in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, check this out. Um, you know, I'll... Um, you know, you can probably pick this up for quite cheap now. Uh... Uh, you can get it on DVD. I'm sure it's streaming somewhere. I should again. I should look that up. Um, maybe if I can find it. If there's if there's anything streaming, um, if it's on a streaming service, I'll I'll put it on the screen. If there's not, then I'm pointing at nothing. So, uh, but yeah. So there you go. Here's two films that um I feel, uh, you know, kind of play off each other. So if you like one, you might like the other. If if you've seen this and you haven't seen this. Go check this out. This is an old school um, carnival type 80s slasher. Uh, not even 80s, just a slasher film. These are both slasher films set in a, car in a carnival. So um, if you're familiar with this, go check this out. If you're, if you're familiar with this, go check this out. Um, I think they're, 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 they're a fun pairing. Good, they'd be a good uh, you know double feature. All right, everyone, that, that's it. That's all I got for you. So uh, hopefully you guys like this. I, I want to do a few more of these. There, there's lots of 80 slashers that I have that, um, you know, I, I think there's there's good pairings that you can, um, you know, if you, if you like it, I have another recommendation for you. So maybe in a couple of weeks I'll do another one of these. And uh, yeah, so all right, that's it. So uh, yeah, until next time. All right, see ya.